Welcome to News 3. I'm Bari Cruz. Topping our headlines, more jobs are coming to Hampton Roads. Today, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin announced Lowe's is establishing a coastal holding facility in Suffolk that will create 100 new jobs in the area. It will be located in the Virginia Port Logistics Park and it will get imported goods through the Port of Virginia. The housing market is causing problems for people in Hampton Roads. The housing crisis hotline operated by 4 kids says they've answered more than 7,000 calls for help in September. That's more than any other month since the hotline began back in 2011. And according to the call center data, 24% of callers were seeking emergency shelter and 32% of them had pending eviction notices. 30% of callers were in need of utility assistance. Now let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist April Loveland. Hey, April. Hey, Pari. Well, we are tracking the chance for some showers and storms as we head through the next couple of hours. Some of those could become strong to severe, so just keep that in mind. Even though we're dry out there right now, we do have that chance as we head through the next couple of hours. So those storms are possible this evening. As we head through the overnight, we'll see lingering showers. Temperatures falling to around 61 degrees or so. And then by tomorrow morning, temperature-wise, in the mid to upper 50s. May even see a couple of folks still in the 60s, but we're going to start to see those clouds clearing out as we go through the day. So we'll end up with mostly sunny skies as we head through your Friday. Highs near 68 with some upper or with some low 70s there. 73 on Saturday, plenty of sunshine, looking like a gorgeous weekend. And then on Sunday, we will see some clouds starting to build in, highs near 76. Scattered showers will move in with a cold front on Monday. We'll see highs near 70. Then everything kind of falls apart for Tuesday and Wednesday. We are seeing those much colder temperatures, feeling more like December with those highs in the upper 50s. And then we'll see highs near 62 on Thursday. That's your first warning, seven-day forecast.